Little Rico, a beloved pet dog dies after a Baltimore cop allegedly slits her throat. Seven-year-old Nayla ran off this past Saturday when a back gate was accidentally left open. A local bartender tried to grab the dog, and the dog was panicked and bit her. And this woman called police, but she says the bite was superficial, and it was her fault for reaching out to the dog. Cops arrive. Um, Officer Jeffrey Bolger shows up on the scene. One witness claims they hear him say, I'm going to gut this thing, and that's allegedly what he did. He allegedly slit her throat. The little pet, a Sharpe, later died. Listen to this. This is outrageous and unacceptable uh, breach of our protocol. The BPD does not condone and will not condone such actions. The Baltimore Police Department suspended Officer Bolger without pay, and uh, we tried to reach him, but were unable to. We just learned a second officer has also been suspended for allegedly holding Nayla down while Bolger allegedly slit his throat. I want to go out to the human companion of this deceased dog, Sarah Gossard. Uh, what was your reaction emotionally when you found out that your dog that had gotten out of the back door had its throat her throat slit by allegedly by a cop. I'm definitely enraged. Um, I found out not even through anyone from the police department calling me, but I found it on the news. So just pretty infuriated by the entire situation and disgusted with his actions. What would you like to see happen to the officer? I definitely want him to lose his job. And I, I mean, I would like for him to serve jail time. Definitely. He, I mean, he, if he killed a seven year old child, wouldn't he go to jail? I mean, this was, this was my child, you know, I don't have kids. I have pets. So I don't, I don't think it's right. I don't think you should get away with any of this. Was your dog in any way, uh, seven years old, I understand. Was she in every way, uh, vicious as they say? No, never. She's never bit anyone. She's never been aggressive to any other animal or person. And um, she was just scared and disoriented and lost. And even the woman who was bit said the exact same thing. And if she's saying that, I feel like you should really take it into consideration. And oh, I, I want to go to Alexis Therese, so. Chuck. Sorry to interrupt. Of Radar Online, you're a, a very well-known dog lover. What's your reaction to this story? It makes me want to cry. I'm afraid I'm going to cry talking about this. It'll be my first time crying on television about this. It's disgusting that what this man has allegedly done is terrible. The only thing that I can say that's positive is that he has been charged with felony animal cruelty. This isn't a misdemeanor that he's been charged with. They're not dismissing it. He's actually being charged with a felony for allegedly murdering this poor dog. And you know, because you're an animal lover, that this kind of story happens all the time, but we don't hear about it. No, and that's the thing that's so wonderful about the power of the press and the internet and the media, that this poor woman wasn't told that her dog was, uh, dog's throat was slit, but people can find out and they can take action, they can stop it and they can call the Baltimore Police Department, they can call the district attorney, they can call local animal rights places and fight for this dog's rights and for future ones. There are so many heroic cops who rescue dogs and other animals, but Alexis Terezchuk, what message does this send to cops? The, guy that, the idea that this police officer is going to be put on trial for animal cruelty. I think this is less about somebody being a cop and just somebody being a really lousy person, but it serves as a warning. Don't do something so despicable. Again, an officer accused of slitting a dog's throat a dog that is was a pet of a woman we just spoke to just got out the back door. No, not the answer.